Hello out there, everybody. Manny here at Area 503. And I hope you all have been well since our last video. Today I just want to talk with you all about some recent UFO sightings from all around the world. Our first sighting takes place in the skies over Dayton, Ohio on June 18th. A YouTuber by the name of Terry Caldwell posted this video to the internet showing a UFO recorded during the daytime. Terry was nice enough to allow us to use their footage, so thank you Terry. I really like this footage. What a bright and clear capture of a UFO during the day. And as it turns out, this UFO was actually witnessed by multiple people and recorded. Check out this other view of that thing. What could it be? Do you see the way that UFO seems to be emitting or reflecting light? It's extremely bizarre. Now some people have speculated that this could be a balloon from the Google project called Loon. Project Loon is a Google project designed to bring high-speed internet to rural parts of the country. If this is a Google Loon balloon, we should be able to confirm it since these balloons are equipped with air transponders. Let's head on over to Flight Radar 24 to check it out. Here we are looking at the historical data for the date and time of the sighting. Look at this oddly moving object with the identifier HBAL0290. The slow and seemingly erratic movement pattern of this object does make it look like it is a balloon. A simple Google search of HBAL0290 shows it as being registered to a Google Loon balloon with a photo. Well look at that, that might very well be the UFO. A local news channel, WHIO, ran this piece where they had zoomed photos of the sighting. Check this out. Look at this zoomed image of the UFO side by side with the Google balloon. They look remarkably similar to me. I really do feel like this was a Google Project Loon balloon. But you can understand why people thought it might be a UFO. It definitely looked like one. And this is an amazing catch. Thanks again, Terry, for letting us use your footage and for recording and putting it online in the first place. Let's go ahead and move on to our next sighting, which takes place on June 23rd over Sydney, Australia. Check out this footage. Now the story begins like this. Last week I was on this drive, long drive, for this beautiful place called as Kutumba in Blue Mountains in Sydney. And I was simply recording with my mobile this amazing nature around me, not realizing what I was capturing on my mobile. That's amazing. I always get excited when people notice UFOs in this kind of found footage that they didn't realize were there while they were filming. In my opinion, these types of sightings are the most credible. Just check out that cluster of UFOs recorded on film. Have y'all ever seen anything like that? I don't think I have. My initial impression is that this is some kind of atmospheric light condition, but I find it odd how it seems fixed to the cloud. And I just don't know what that is. Maybe by adjusting the color on this image, we can reveal something. Man, <laughs> the more I look at this thing, the more mysterious it is to me. I just can't make a determination about what this is, so I'm going to leave this one in my UFO files and we will move on. Which will take us over to Poland on June 22nd, where another UFO was spotted. This UFO is extremely far away and almost unnoticeable at first. However, when we zoom up on it, you get a real good look at this thing. At first I thought this UFO resembled a Project Loon balloon like the previous clip. However, that system is not being tested overseas to the best of my knowledge, so I don't think it's one of those. Although, maybe there is a similar project being tested over there. Either way, this is still some great footage and I wanted to share it with you all and see what you think about it. So let me know in the comments section below. I just can't make my mind up about this sighting, so I'm going to go ahead and file this one away under unknown. 
and we'll move on to our next sighting which took place over West Palm Beach on June 24th. Now this is a really short clip, but check this out. You have two orb UFOs at first, and then one of them blinks out and disappears. And I have to tell you all, this sighting instantly reminded me of another sighting recently that was featured in episode 39. Take a look at these two clips side by side. In both sightings, you have two UFOs and then one of them phases out and disappears. Now I'm not sure if this is the same UFO in both clips, however it seems strange to me and something bothered me about the first clip. And something bothers me about this clip. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's because these UFOs are moving slowly and they're actually hovering as if they are giant drones. I just don't know. So this one's going in the unknown file as well, and I'll revisit it later. For now, let's move on to our last sighting, which took place over Hawaii on June 27th. Yisrael Yehuda uploaded this video of a sighting of an orb UFO at nighttime. Now this is a very interesting sighting because Yisrael has filmed this UFO multiple days in a row. Now check this thing out. At first it just seems to hang there and move slowly. But look at when Yisrael zooms in, you see this object glowing or reflecting light. It really is hard to get a clear shot of this thing at nighttime because the light coming off it plays tricks with the digital camera lens. One of the comments made by the witness to this UFO was that they felt that the UFO was sort of responding to being recorded. Like it behaved differently once they got their camera out and started to film the object. Now that to me suggests some sort of intelligence, of course, but even more frightening, it suggests that these things are tapped into our phones and can tell if they're being documented. That's kind of scary. Now, both this statement that the UFO seemed to respond to being recorded and that it was witnessed multiple days in a row remind me of a sighting last summer over St. Helens, Washington, just north of Portland. I featured that sighting in episode 11, so if you haven't gotten a chance to watch that one, go ahead and check it out. Both of these UFOs appeared over multiple days. Both of them seemed to respond to being recorded, and they both obviously appear similar in appearance. But what are they? What kind of an object could float or hover like that? What kind of an object would be that large and emit or reflect light? What are those things? I'm just as at a loss to explain this flying object over Hawaii as I was to explain the one over St. Helens. And so for now, I'm going to file this one in my UFO files, and I'm going to go ahead and follow up with Yisrael over in Hawaii and report back to you all later on this. Let me take this opportunity to again thank Yisrael as well as Terry over in Ohio for supplying clips and allowing us here at Area 503 to use them. We really appreciate your support. Well guys, for now, that's all I've got on the recent UFO and UAP sightings from around the world. As always, this has been Manny at Area 503, and I wish you all the best until we meet again. And I am out of here to continue my search for universal truth.